Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Captain Karabu, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Last time we left off, we were, uh... Yeah, this is where we were. Yeah, we were right here. We were at the point where, uh, we have to make another poem. Welcome back to Doki Doki. My hair is still a mess. I still haven't got a haircut yet, but I wanted to record this before I went and got myself a haircut. Uh, obviously you can tell, my beard's gone. My beard's gone, uh, 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 November's over, October's over, the beard's gone. It's time, it's back to shaving. Enough of the beard right now. And plus, I like my face. It's, it's, uh, it's nice to see it. Without further ado, let's go and impress these three girls, since we don't have the option of pressing the other, uh, leader chick, even though she's got no other redeemable quality besides she's a leader, which is a very admirable quality. I'm not saying that isn't. Uh, let's go with strawberry. Should I like, should I like not go for what I would personally like in my poems? <laughs> because I don't, because I, I would personally like all like the, the cute stuff, right? But I want to be able to talk to the other girls, not just Yuri. So, ah, fuck it. I'll just do what I can. Climax. <laughs> Chocolate. Socks. <laughs> Flying. Sugar. Papa. Ugh. Romance. Contamation. <laughs> Determination. Ugh. Bed. <laughs> Hope. Oh, I'm actually pink. <laughs> Parfait. Lollipop. Boop. <laughs> Swimsuit. Heaven sent. Uncanny. Doki Dunk. Okay. <laughs> Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I just kind of just pressed a whole bunch of things gotten a little bit more comfortable here from over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Caribou. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not being... I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get in, you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simplest things with you anyway. Speaking of which... I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? But that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh. -eh. Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets the contents spill out into the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see it right through you, Sayori. That's not fair! How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming into the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's only one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that's the only... That leaves the... So that only leaves the one option. Wah! I give up. <clears throat> Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Yuri suddenly giggles. Uh, I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Uh, I wasn't listening or anything. I was just something in my book. Yuri, tell Caribou to lend me some money. That's... 
Don't get me involved in something like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after putting in a, pulling a mischievous stunt like you that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Uh, did I just... I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Uh... <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution! That... <laughs> that! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. I need to fix the volume on this thing. One second. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But... but you wouldn't have Kami for, what, for the cupcakes, so I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. <laughs> ah! Kya! Out of nowhere, someone something smacks Sayori in the face, then tumbles him to the desk. Ow! What, what was... A, a... A cookie! Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my resti restitution. <laughs> Retribution. <laughs> Dang it. Fuck. There we go. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just going to give it to you. But then I heard about I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction though. Natsuki, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. <clears throat> Sayori suddenly claps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Haha, <laughs> ha. you're going go. You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah. <coughs> ah. Your, uh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. God, no. Uh, can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate! Yeah, why don't you think I gave it? Why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and then wraps her hand around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off to her. Off of her! Um. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. H hey! Did you seriously just do that? Hmm. Mouthful, Sayori trots away to safety. You and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? <sighs> Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have you ever... Have you, any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, anything either. Uh, hmm. That's a bit unusual. Hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. This is a tad bit too loud. If I have to adjust it. <laughs> Sorry. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Uh, you don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be too surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Uh-huh, that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, uh, there you are. 
I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Ah. Monica choose, chose the club over her boyfriend, after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What have... What held you up anyway? Ah, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Oh, that makes sense to me. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should pr play something for us sometime, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Caribou. Why, why does my words affect you more than their words? What is it about me that makes you be like, oh... It's like whenever they talk, it's, all they're hearing is music in their head. Like, da, 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 da. And then once I speak and say, I think that would be awesome. Whoa! She said that that would be awesome? Gotta lose my shit. Thank you, Caribou. Wow. It's because I have a penis. Monica sm smiles sweetly. Ah. It didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. Your words are the only thing that matter to me. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Ah, uh, here we go. I guess there's multiple runs you can make of this. Will we do that? Who knows? I'm willing to. This is kind of fun. It's not long before Natsuki comes up to me unexpectedly. To be expectantly. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I kept my promise. I pulled the first volume of Parfait Girls out of my bag. Natsuki takes it from my my hands, then quickly turns it over, presumably to check for wrinkles. Hey, I'm not that careless. I handle manga all the time, you know. I just wanted to make sure. Can you blame me for being paranoid? I don't give people my manga every day, you know. That's true. <clears throat> I don't blame you. Well, anyway, let me put this bum back. I'm going to get the next one, okay? Natsuki makes her way to the closet. I follow. So you're going to tell me everything you thought, right? Where did this volume leave off again? I forget. I forget, I should say. Sorry. Ah, uh, the chapter ended with Minori and Alice found... Monica! Natsuki's voice resonated from out... From out... Out from inside the closet. Eh? I peer inside. All of Natsuki's book are lined up to the top shelf. Did you move my manga again? Uh, sorry, sorry. The teacher got mad at me for taking up so much space in her closet. So I had to move some stuff around and clean up a little bit. It's all still there. I just had to organize it a bit. Uh, the top shelf was far from Natsuki's head. She makes a... Feudal hop trying to figure out how to reach her manga. Jeez. This is so inconvenient. I'm moving these all back down. There's plenty of room on these shelves. And besides, they're really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Why would you waste time, waste that on the top shelf? Ah, Natsuki. There's a stool on the wall here. In the closet, there's a collapsible stool. A collapsible that's hanging on the wall. If you want it, I can reach up there and hand them to you. I can get them myself. 
Natsuki grabs a stool from the wall and unfolds it. You think I'm too short or something? I mean, you are too short, you stupid. I knew it! Uh, why does that bother you? Well, you know what? Just watch me! You do it. Natsuki hops into the stool, which ends up being a little wobbly because of its collapsible design. Uh, uh Careful. I know what I'm doing! Standing on the stool, Natsuki's fingertips reach the top shelf. The stool would be enough for me to easily grab the books, but Natsuki is being stubborn as usual. Uh, uh, Natsuki uses her fingers to scoot one of the smaller boxes to the edge of the shelf. See? Yeah! The box suddenly tips. Natsuki barely ca catches it before it falls into the floor. The stool wobbles. Wah! Losing balance, Natsuki hops the stool, and let me guess, I catch her. Thankfully, she was able to stay on her feet. Oh, nope, thank God. She holds her box triumphantly. It's there. Having almost fell, Natsuki is a bit shaken up. Jeez. No need to prove yourself to me. There's no way you'd be able to get the, bo the bigger boxes like that. I can reach them, so just... I said I can do it. I don't want your help, okay? <sighs> I'm gonna get a chair, so get on. So just hang on. Natsuki forces her way past me out of the closet. See, this infuriates me so much. Let's see. The classroom chairs have the desk attached, so they're too inconvenient to fit into the closet. Aha! Natsuki trots over to the teacher's desk, which has a computer chair behind it. She rolls it on its wheels back to the closet. Ah. It's a little dangerous since the chair swivels and rolls. But I've already learned my lesson, so I kept my mouth shut. Ugh. Natsuki climbs onto the chair, then slowly balances into her feet. Since she refuses my help, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. Aw. You know what I appreciate this? So far there hasn't been anything overly inappropriate. There's not been any panties. There's just cuteness. I like that. I can appreciate that. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. See, I can easily do it now. Natsuki grabs a stack of manga and bends down to put it on the shelf below. Wah! The, swivel, the chair swivels. Natsuki catches herself on the shelf. What are you doing? Can you at least hold the chair steady instead of sitting and doing nothing? Ho! Oh! Who was it that told me not to help? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I hold the chair while Natsuki reaches back up. I can't... I can almost see up her... Keep your mouth shut, ladies and gentlemen. I forced myself to turn away. Natsuki seriously didn't think this through. Once she realizes it, I'll be dead. Hup! Natsuki wraps her arm around the parfait girl's box set, easily the largest one on the shelf. Uh, heavy. Hey, caribou. I don't think I can bend down without falling. Hurry and take this one. Uh, but then I have to let go of the chair. That's fine. Just for a second. Hurry up. All right. Let me just stand up. I slowly release my grip up from the chair. What do you mean, stand up? Natsuki stare, looks down at me. Why are you all the way back there? Ah! Natsuki looks like she's just realized something, but she'll lose her balance if she moves. Natsuki, the box. What are you looking at? You're trying to look at my... Natsuki's leg shakes. I, I'm not! I was just... Natsuki, don't try to move. I just... Just give me the box. You... You perp! The P word has been spoken. You set me up. Go away! Get out! But... I'll do it myself! Ah! Uh, the, so, the chair suddenly swivels beneath Natsuki's feet. Natsuki... Yeah! 
The scene turns into a chaos in a split second. The chair flies from underneath Natsuki's feet. Frantically, I try to catch her. The box trop topples out of her hand and the books go flying. I, I got you. Crash. The full force of Natsuki's bottle against me throws me to the ground. A whole bunch of books pelt me in the face. Natsuki tries to shield herself with her own arms as her face lands straight on my chest. Uh, my right arm and back seriously felt the impact. Uh, slowly Natsuki comes to her senses. Uh, she presses her arms straight into me to prop herself up. Uh, Natsuki seems to realize that it's not the floor that's beneath her. Blah! Gross, gross! Gah. A fist pounds into my chest. Natsuki then hoists herself to my feet. What were you thinking, you sicko? Everything okay over here? I heard a lot of loud noise. Monica suddenly peers in. Monica, see what happens when you put the manga on the top shelf? Are you trying to kill your club members or something? Jeez. S sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. It seems like your most recent club member is a total pervert. So I hope you're happy. I didn't! Somehow it's impossible for me to explain this whole bizarre situation to Monica. I didn't do anything, I swear. I know, I know, don't worry. Monica says that quietly to me. Looks like I'm off the hook. Oh no! My... my uh... I look down. Natsuki is kneeling on the floor holding one of the books that are scattered all over the floor. There's a large diagonal crease along the pages of the page that she's desperately trying to smooth out. Ah, uh, it must have landed on the page. Natsuki tries a bit more to fix the crease, but she can't get it out. So when she gives up and slams the book shut, then throws it to the floor. Instead of continuing, continuing to yell, she just lowers her head. Really? Natsuki, are you? No. Natsuki's voice squeaks. I see tears on her face. <sighs> I'll help you get the crease out, okay? It's partially my fault, so... And Natsuki shakes her hand, still looking down. No, I don't even care that much. I'm just having a really bad day, okay? Natsuki sobs again. I didn't mean to take it out on you. I really didn't mean to. It's fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? Natsuki shakes her head. Just every day is so hard. I just want to come to the club and... Natsuki falls silent again. I can't press her, so I can only do what I know how to do. Alright. Well, I'll help clean things up. And then I'll move to the rest of your manga for you, okay? Ah. <sighs> I pick up volume two of Parfait Girls. We'll set this one aside. This will help cheer you up a bit, right? We can get started on it once I'm done here. Now Tiki looks up you, up with you. Looks up with her glossy eyes. Her lip quivers. You're, you're really nice to me. Huh? That sounds really strange coming from Natsuki. I didn't expect that at all. Well, I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? Mm -hmm. Natsuki lowers her head and so stifles another sob. I'm not sure what happened to her today, but being nice is n the least I could do. The next couple minutes are silent between us as I begin gathering the scattered books. I make sure to slip them into the box in their correct order. After all, after a little bit, Natsuki starts helping. It isn't long before we're done, and I hoist the box into the shelf where Natsuki wanted to put it. Then I get on the stool and quickly finish moving the rest of her boxes. Books! From the top shelf! Alright. That should do it. I hop off the stool. Natsuki averts her eyes. Thanks. <laughs> it's nothing. Natsuki is holding the volume I set in aside in her hands. Alright, I'm ready. Good. Even if you weren't, I'd make you anyway. You're taking responsibility for what you said. The things about the thing about cheering me up. If you insist.
Wow. There's a lot to this. Cheers. So guys, I gotta go into the next part. This is this is this is wild. This is wild. This is crazy. This is wild. It's wild and crazy. Wild and crazy, guys. So thank you for watching. I'm not exactly sure when I'm gonna pick this back up, but I have to take a break for right now. Um, but this is actually really interesting and really, really kind of endearing at the same time. I don't even know why. Most of the time, I don't really like these things, but I walked in there thinking I wasn't gonna like it. It's kind of nice. So thank you guys for watching. If you don't haven't supported me or you want to support the series itself, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like as well. Anything helps. So thank you guys for watching and peace off. Thank you.